and you can see x is now increasing for namish text and it is also increasing but now x is again increasing but now y started increasing again so when you tweak like the button hey hello youtube i am karan from bharat and in this video i am going to talk about some of my old projects uh, like i was the time when i was learning batch and testing on some of the batch conditions so i tried to create a animation like concept in that so let's see there are multiple versions of the same program so i am going to launch the first one uh, i think it's failed so let me just show you the second version because i think the second version was working and in animation 2 you can see that okay it is not working perfectly so everything is messy and yeah that's not a good start i know that but with no collision let's see okay you can see random values so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to animate the characters so that it seems like they are colliding and then getting back so here you can see i have animation 2 using fn.dll with no collision so let's see that okay there are two text strings they're trying to get collide and they're merging and then they're not colliding so they're merging in each other where have they gone okay so they're finding their way in the you can see simultaneously changing in the values of x and y in both the strings and as this string has reached the minimum maximum required x so it has started decreasing the x value and both are changing accordingly so you can see the concept of multi threading here and i don't think i have applied multi threading because at that time i didn't know about that so there is no multi threading but i'm using the bad box or fn.dll so it is doing the things very fast that it seems like they are they are moving simultaneously so in the second version with fn.dll you can see there are two strings karan and namish so they collided here and they changed their path and i don't think now they will collide they will collide after a long time so you can see the collision again because i think i have yeah i have initialized the starting positions statically so they have collided again here using fn.dll but using the bad box you can see here changing values parameters and they have collided here again so let me first let me first decrease the delay so we can see the strings moving let me write 100 milliseconds close the time and let me double click on it and you can see here the strings are colliding and you can change see changes very well values here let's see when the positions of these two values become same the strings change their path and you can see x is now increasing for namish text and is also increasing but now x is again increasing but now y started increasing again so when you tilt collide at the bottom the y should start decrease yes the y is decreasing so what here i'm doing is i'm initializing the x1 and y1 for the first string and the second string here i'm initializing their signs for the four separate movements and the total items are 2 and the first item and the length of the first item second item and length of the second item and you can see here that i'm using a loop for calculating the position and i'm using bad box to print both the values at the specified x y coordinate at once and here i'm using slash w option of the bad box for delay 
and i think that's all you can learn from the version 3 i think version 3 is not completed so let me run that okay you can see random values i try to do three things but it failed and it become too complex that i dropped the project so now i thought i should share all my projects no matter whether they are successful or not because you can still learn a lot of things from it because you can learn an organization of the project and how you can think in various terms using this, the idea of this code so i'll upload that to our batch blog the batteam.org and you can learn from it in whatever way you want so that's all for it this tutorial and i think you've liked my work and if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching bye bye